Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I do apologize, I know it's been a while since I've made a video for this channel. I still am and have been on a buying, collecting, and opening hiatus for trading card games. We won't get into the reasons why right now in this video, but I am excited to come back and do a video for you guys for the new D Spirits D Evolutions booster box, which was very kindly sent to me from Sterling. Uh, the creator of D Spirits. First of all, Sterling, thank you so much for this. And I do apologize to him and you guys. I was supposed to get this out to you um, quite a few weeks ago, but I just have been incredibly busy. And also, you may have noticed I'm using a new webcam here. It's not actually a webcam, it's actually a really nice camera that I bought for my streams and my main channel. I was really wanting to put together a brand new setup for when I open trading card games with a nice new table, a nice new setup. I'm still dealing with a very, very cramped uh, space here for opening cards. Uh, like all around me right now are monitors and computers and cables like there's stuff under this play mat It's an absolute mess. It's very cramped here And I was really waiting to try and get that set up ready to go before I open this I kept telling myself I was gonna do it I was gonna do it make a grand return to the channel with a cool new setup I just have not been able to do it because I got to move a lot of stuff around in here I, I don't have a lot of space to work with in here um, So I'm like, you know what? I got to do this because I'm about to be really busy for the next week And I didn't want to put this off for any longer. So thank you sterling once again We're gonna be checking this out and opening it up for those of you that don't know D Spirits, I have opened um, a decent amount of this on the channel before. If you go back and watch some of my older videos, you'll see I opened up the first set and the second set for D Spirits, both of which I really enjoyed Soul Snatchers and the base set from Kickstarter. Uh, D Spirits, I'll flip this card over here because this will give you a really nice idea. Um, first of all, I'm really happy that they kept this hollow foil pattern. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of the way the hollows look in D Spirits. Let me get this out of the top loader so you guys can see it a little bit better. So this is a promo card. Um, this is a set from Kickstarter, which is still available on the D Spirits website. I'll have a link to the website below. It's a little hard. Don't go to Google and uh, Google D Spirits. If you do, you have to uh, Google D Spirits online in order to find the website. But I'll have the direct link down below. These boxes for these cards, if you do enjoy these, are still in stock. There are limited quantities of them, though, considering they were Kickstarter. Uh, booster boxes are 60 bucks, so nice and affordable. Uh, got the starter decks. We're going to be opening everything here and showing you guys what the new D Spirit set is all about. Um, also, really quick before we get into this, this is not a sponsored video. This is not paid. This is not anything. Um, I was reached out to by Sterling, and he asked me if I wanted to showcase this on my channel for you guys, and I said absolutely. I have opened D Spirits in the past. I know I already like it. So, uh, D Spirits is definitely a card game that is targeted towards a younger audience. So, if you have kids that are into Pokemon, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh, whatever have you, and you're looking to introduce them to something new, something a little different, uh, you know, maybe you want to see how they can deck build with a friend or with you or whatever, you know, check out D-Spirits, pick up a starter deck, and then maybe pick up a booster box, a couple starter decks, booster box, or maybe a booster box and two starter decks is probably the best way to go about deck building. Um, since this set is quite small, it's really easy to put together a full play set. So this gives you an idea of the card quality. I'm a huge fan of the sort of like speckle, uh, prism type look on these cards. They really remind me of the stickers that you would find in vending machines from the nineties. I really, really like the, uh, the hollow pattern on these spirits. And also, I also love their font type that they use for the title of their cards. This one here has a little gold uh, and sort of embezzled kind of look to it, which is really nice. So quality on D Spirit stuff is never a disappointment. So uh, like I gotta, I'm struggling to find a place to put some of this stuff. I'm going to put this right up here. Okay. So let's open up what you guys are probably waiting to see first. Let's uh, save this for a little bit later. I'm going to put these off to the side. Um, depending on how long this video runs, I may do a separate video on those in the future. But for now, we're definitely going to crack open the the booster box here and excuse my really small pair of scissors here it comes with 20 packs it is a bit of a smaller set so 20 packs nine cards per pack uh, 72 cards total for this set i'm not sure if there's any secret rares or anything like that have that have been kept under the radar but i'm going to assume there are not so it should be pretty uh straightforward to build a full set on this which is nice for those of you that are completionists let's pop our box up i'm going to be saving this box to the best of my ability let's get the packs out of here um actually let's leave the box back here and we can kind of get that 
pack opening experience. I like keeping the box in the background. As I open these for the channel, it's just a lot more fun. It feels more like we're kind of just... You can see the progress of going through the booster box. So, pack quality. Um, I really... The only thing I judge pack quality by is how easy are the packs to open without a scissor. And thankfully, these are really easy to open. Thankfully. Uh, I don't need a scissor. It's no hang tab, pull tabs, nothing like that. So, a lot of the art for this set, um, I have not looked to see. It's a little hard for me to see on my end here. Actually, let me make something a little bigger on my end so I can hopefully read this a little bit better for you guys if I can. So, down here, artists, a lot of them in this set are created by the creator, Sterling Cartoons. He definitely has his own very distinct style, so you can tell when you're looking at a Sterling Cartoons card. Um, I have yet to play these spirits. I would love to be able to maybe build a deck sometime using the starter decks from this and the cards that were sent to me uh, in this booster box and hook up with the community and try and get some games going, play over webcam or whatever. Um, the one thing that you're going to notice with these cards is that they all feature um, pretty much full art style, right? So all the art goes to the borders. Everything is bright and vivid, and that's really what stuck out to me when I first was checking out D Spirits cards for the Kickstarter set. Um, obviously, a lot of these are influenced by Sterling's love for other, uh, you know, card games. Let's let's not avoid the subject here, right? So it's you can tell that there's a lot of influence from Pokemon, but you know. There's nothing wrong with that, right? There's a lot of card games that draw influence from things that people love and nostalgia of things they grew up with. Uh, it's just putting that new, unique spin on things that um, will kind of make it stand out for different crowds, right? So, like, is there a cello in Pokemon? Heck no, there's not. <laughs> you want a you want a cello uh, D Spirit? Well, you, you can get you can get one in this set. Pretty unique stuff. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got the Victor Larson. Uh, I remember seeing this card on the Kickstarter too when it was first coming out. We got the Nightling, which is Victor Larson artwork. For those of you that know Victor Larson from uh, MetaZoo and Nom Nomverse. So he has a card with D-Spirits, which is really cool. I love that hollow pattern. Looks awesome on this card too. There is a lot of font on these cards. And it was something I remember being a little hesitant about when I first saw the design of the D-Evolutions cards. I'm really glad to see that the font style choice i think the font coloring has been subdued quite a bit either that or they just look a lot nicer in person because uh for example uh this font color i remember when i saw this online this green was like really bright and vivid and it kind of was a little off-putting but seeing these colors in person now puts me at ease they are a lot more subdued and not quite like in your face they look much better in person Okay, so let's head on to our second pack. That was our first one. We'll see how many of the 72 card set we can kind of get together. I probably won't find out until after the video because I'm, I'm not going to be able to kind of figure that out on the fly here. Um, there are support cards and stuff in D-Spirits. Like I said, I have not played it yet, so it's a little hard for me to comment on the playability of the cards in this game. But from what I've seen, it is fairly straightforward, easy to understand to learn how to play the game. Ooh, I actually really like this style. This is also Sterling going for a sort of like Paper Mario cutout style on this one. I like that. Another thing that you want to pay attention to is there's a lot of play on names in these spirits. So like Tissue Terror, it's toilet paper. There's a lot of fun, goofy stuff like that in these spirits. Like I said, really good game for kids. And we got Cat Snatcher. I remember seeing this in the promotional material. One of the ultra rares for this set with that amazing gold font. I love that. Really glad that that did not go away. I'm, I'm a fan of the gold lettering. It looks like he's at like a concert with the lights in the background. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the hollows and indie spirits. So yeah, like I said, um, I would encourage you if you're new to D spirits, I would say try and get yourself um, a little bit from each set. The first set from kickstarter uh still pretty easy to pick those up uh it'll give you a really good idea of the uh the baseline characters because there's a lot of characters that are sort of like built up evolutions if you will from previous d spirits so it's good to kind of go back into the back catalog as well and build up some of the 
original D spirits so that you can kind of see how they've evolved over the time in this series. Shroom stool. Oh, that's a really crazy looking one. Love the colors on that. Man, the foils are awesome. Foils are not disappointing in this at all. I don't know what foil pattern Sterling uses on these, but I really love this like digital speckle look. Look at that. It's like the digital speckle in the background. Awesome. I'm a fan. Like I said, I'm working with a little bit of limited space here, so sometimes I'm going to clean the cards up. Um, let me just make sure I'm separating my foils real quick so we can do a showcase of those all at the end. If any of you are D Spirits fans and you want to leave a comment in chat, maybe I missed something, maybe I misspoke about something, please let me know in the comments. I'm not an expert in D Spirits yet, uh, so I am all for learning the lingo and the lore to the cards themselves or the characters. Let's put our foils up there. Hill Guana. Tish Terror again. Such XO UFO. So you will obviously get uh, some doubles in this, but the one good thing is we are not getting doubles on these hollows quite yet, which is really nice. 69 of 72. Gu Kung Fu. Gu Kung Fu. So, good spread on our hollows, so there doesn't seem to be any kind of sorting issues so far. Sometimes, uh, you know, card games once in a while in the factory can slip up a little bit and create um, some unintentional card sorting errors. In fact, there was a delay on this set because originally the factory that was printing these for D-Spirits uh, did apparently have sorting errors that were drastic enough for Sterling to say, listen... Hold off, we got to reprint this, which did delay the set a bit, um, but in the end it looks like it was worth it because the sorting seems really good. We got Gelty or Jelty, really cool looking Death Reaper kind of character here. I'm just trying to see if there is anything on the, nope, it's all text for the card effect, no flavor text. It says a secret rare find, wait, hold up, good thing I examined this one. What does that say? Is this a, say that on all these? An ultra rare find? Hold on, we just got a secret rare. Hold on. Yeah, because look down at the bottom of the card here. It says an ultra rare find, an ultra rare find, ultra rare, ultra rare. Okay, so there are secret rares. Oh boy. I was unaware. What number is this? Hold on, I got to look at this closer. 71 to 72. Okay, so secret rare is like the step above ultra. The website did not mention secret rares, and that is a cool-looking secret rare to get, too. I know, I know Sterling's probably watching this like, oh, please notice it's a secret rare. I totally see it. I totally see it down there. I, I definitely also appreciate the fact that it is pointed out as a secret rare. It's a unique way of doing it. Instead of, like, a little symbol that people may not recognize. Really cool. Card centering and everything seems nice. Nice and centered. Okay. Let me put that one off to the side away from the others. All right, can we find another secret rare? I'm going to assume probably one per box if you're lucky enough to get one. Maybe it's a guarantee one per box. I don't know. That was number 71 of 72. How bright these are. So, I mean, perfect for kids or the inner kid in all of us. Really fun, bright cards. Really bright. Oh, we got the box art. The spirit we got the ember wing looks awesome in hollow man these cards look so much better in person i remember seeing the images online before they have the foil applied because obviously conveying foil in images online is a little rough right like you can't really do that so you got to show the base image but man when these cards have the foil added with that spot foiling I gotta say one thing i appreciate in tcgs is when there's spot foiling what do i mean by this so you can see how the background the foil they, they do block out the foil from appearing in the D-Spirit itself, right? So, like, he's sort of, like, above the background. I'm not the biggest fan of card games that just foil the whole card. It looks sloppy. It doesn't look as nice. This really makes the card pop. Looks awesome. Very nice job, Sterling. Very nice job. The, the quality of these... Living up to that D-Spirit's... Oh, standard that I remember from the previous two sets, which were also really fun to open. I enjoyed opening those sets. Those, those sets, too, also had some, like, really rare dark cards you can pull. 
I never ended up pulling one, and I opened quite a few booster boxes for D-Spirits 1 and uh, the Kickstarter and Soul Snatchers. We got Slush Sleeves. Slushies. Slush Sleeves. Oh my god, don't say that one ten times fast. Splash Hound. Tri... Tri... Por uh, trio Torpedo. <laughs> Tongue Twisters. Gloop. And we got Artisan. Now I always gotta check and make sure I'm not getting a secret rare. Once again, another really nice looking card. I really love the colors on these. And the benefit... There have been some amazing artists that have worked on cards with D-Spirits in the past, but the benefit of mainly one artist doing the cards is you get a more cohesive kind of look to everything. I'm not, you know, opposed to a lot of different artists contributing their artwork to card sets, but there's definitely something more cohesive uh, and cards looking nicer together in a binder or a deck and everything when a lot of the cards are done from the same artist. Oops, I meant to put this guy over there. And Sterling definitely has all different kinds of... Like, right, look at this, right? Look at all the styles he's experimenting with. But all the characters retain that sort of same look to them. But from one card to the next, he has a lot of different styles. And in this set, it's nice to see him experimenting with some, some different types of character designs. But my favorite one so far kind of being that Paper Mario folded paper kind of look. Okay, so we got our first dupe. Um, I'm not sure how many cards can be in one deck, but I'm assuming... Probably more than one. I have to look into that. All right. Since we are getting a little bit deeper into the box now, we're probably going to start going a little bit faster since we have seen a lot of these commons and commons up front here. We'll mostly be going towards the ones in the back. Lampire. <laughs> a vampire lamp. And a goo gangster. Another ultra rare. That's a new one we haven't seen yet. Let's move some of these out of the way real quick. I'm just going to move the non-foils to the side. Like I said, very limited space here, unfortunately. Uh, let me put them off to the side. Okay. Um, in terms of the card uh, feel and texture, it's not like a matte finish. It's a little glossy, but it's not super glossy. But it's not super matte either. It's kind of a, a in-between sort of feel. So we got Lemon Pepley? Lemon Pepley. Lemon, I, I swear I'm going to mispronounce some of the uh, the sort of like puns. You're going to be like, ah, oh, you, you said it wrong. It should have been Lemon Pell or something. Gotta say, though, these hollows may be some of my new favorites in these spirits. I'm definitely a fan of the way the art goes with the hollow pattern on the back. Oh, my, one of my favorite ones. I remember seeing this guy. Damn, that looks cool with the green the green foil on the mouth. We got Trashinator, number 55 of 72, ultra rare. Um, he is an evolution. It's a little... Let me, let me just look at this a little closer. It is... A de-evolution from Funky. Yeah, so Funky is an older D-Spirit, and that's why I said it, it would be nice, too, if you picked up some of the older cards so you can see. So he, like, evolves from uh, one of the other trashy-looking trash D-Spirits up there. It's a little hard to see Funky. Love the colors. I love it. I might be gushing over this card a little more than you would imagine because my favorite color combination is purple and green. Anytime you put green on purple, I'm just, like, in love. That's my favorite color clash, if you will. Might be might be my favorite card so far, except for the Reaper. I do like the Reaper card. The Gelty. Gelty. This is fun. I, I definitely saw some of the promo artwork for this. Um and was like, well, one day hopefully I'll be able to open up some de evolutions and I'll keep it kind of a surprise. So I'm glad I didn't look too deeply into all the cards in this set so I can kind of be surprised. I just saw the main, you know, the main characters that were used in the original promotion for the evolutions on Kickstarter. Not sure how much more we got here. We got a decent amount of packs still. And then at the end, oops, at the end I will rip open those starter decks just to give you an idea of what you get in those for those of you that are wanting to maybe pick up some starter decks for you and friend or kid or whatever. Well, there's an, I don't think we've seen Megavolt yet. 
a little bit of a 3D animation look to that. So we have a different artist on this one uh, from Bubbly Boy. Okay, so we had some other artists joining in here. I haven't paying, have not been paying too close attention to the artists on every card, so there might be some other artists that have stuck, uh, sort of snuck in here. Um, oh, another new one. X Devolution support card. It's an ultra rare. Okay, so we got some support cards that are hollows as well. Wow. That one really pops. There's just so much hollow foil going on with that. My goodness. I like that one. It's, it's good to make, if you have like cards that are not creatures of some type, right? It's good to make the support sort of item-like cards stand out and pop too, because let's face it, not a lot of people like getting those cards, especially collectors. They want the character card, so it's always nice when you can get one that even when it's not a character of sorts, still looks really nice. We got another Nightling, which is good. I was kind of hoping to get another one of these because um, the other one did have a little ding in the top corner. So this one was a nice mint copy. Victor Larson. All right, let's see. We got some cards we've seen. The card spread has been really good. I'm surprised this many packs in. We're still getting some commons we haven't seen yet. Um, there's still, you know, a few cards popping up here and here, here and there we haven't seen. So it looks like if you want a full playset, you're probably going to need probably two booster boxes, at least. But one booster box definitely gets you on your way. D slurp. That one's pretty fun. Yeah, this, I like this card design. Uh, I hope he experiments with this style in the future. I actually like this. It's like a cutout piece of paper, but the lighting, like the um, the depth of field looks really cool for the backgrounds on this. Ooh, there's another new one. Scaldron. Okay. Pistachic. Pistachic. Pist I have such a hard time saying some of these. Spist we're just going to skip. It's a pistachio, okay. Oh my goodness, we got a second one. Okay, so maybe you are guaranteed two secret rares, um, but I just happened to get more than one of this guy. I'm assuming there's probably no more than maybe two or three secret rares in the set because the set is so small. But hey, I won't complain about that, right? In case I want to build a deck with that guy, I'm sh assuming you probably need more than one. He's one of the favorites of mine from this set, so I won't complain about that. Let's see. Getting towards the end of the box. Oh, another new one. Lieutenant War Squirrel. This is an ultra rare. It looks like he's shooting nuts of some sort out of his sort of like mouthpiece shooting device or something. I'm looking at it through my webcam, so if I'm missing some kind of crazy detail, I do apologize. All right, let's see if we can get one more hollow that we haven't seen yet. Patrice, that is another new card. I don't think we've seen that. Oh my goodness, okay. Another Jelty. That is interesting. So, I either got really lucky, like incredibly lucky, or there's only like maybe one or two secret rares and you're supposed to get... There might be like two or three secret rares would be my assumption. And then I just probably got really lucky and got more than one of the same secret. Uh, I'm not sure. You guys will have to let me know what your opening experience was if you had any D-Spirits and D-Evolutions. But I mean, secret rare, I would not complain about getting more than one secret rare in a box. That's all I'm going to say. Especially a dark Grim Reaper type character. I'm assuming that's one that people would probably want. Okay, we got an M Penguin. It's another one of the main sort of characters that were used in the uh, promotional kind of like material for this game. I like that one. He looks pretty cool. All right. I think we're down to our last pack here, and then we'll bust open the starter decks real quick to show you guys what are in that. But, uh, I don't know if it's going to be another secret rare. That would be pretty wild. So I'll have to... Ch oh, I like that one. I don't think we've seen that. Ookie. Starboy artwork. Nice. 
Um, I'll have to check and see if there are... I'm sure there's a few hollows I'm missing, given the set size. I'm sure I didn't get everything. Okay, so that was the booster box. That was fun. That was really fun to go into, like, semi-blindly. Um, let me just do a recap on the hollows that we got real quick for you guys, so you can once again see the spread of characters that we got. Um, when it comes... To, I, I really like that Trashinator. <laughs> if I build a deck, I want to build a deck with that guy. I'd have to get more of them, though, I'm assuming. Um, yeah, good spread, honestly. Like, a couple doubles here and there. But it was a really good spread on the hollows, except for somehow I either got really, really lucky or, uh, you know, maybe secret rares are sort of just, like, the main hits of the box. And I just so happened to get three of this guy rather than one or two of a different secret rare. But, hey, I mean, that's probably a playset right there. So I'm not going to complain. So let's open up the starter decks, if I can remember where I put them. Oh, there they are. So we'll open these up real quick. Let me move that out of the way. Let's open up the fire one first. So this is just going to show you what you'll get if you're picking this up and what to expect. If you're maybe looking to learn. To... Let me open up both right now so we don't got to fumble around with that one later. To give you an idea of what to expect, these are twelve ninety nine a deck on the website. And once again, I'll have a link to that in the description. For those of you that want to check it out, once again, not sponsored, not, not like not, not affiliated or anything like that. Just doing it for the love of trading cards and to help spread the word on D spirits because I have been a fan of D spirits for quite a while now and it's just a card game that I feel deserves a little bit more recognition. Well, wow, okay, we're starting off with a Victor Larson Hollow. Wasn't expecting that inside an ultra rare. So I guess if you want a play set, you're unless oh it does tell me right up there. I didn't even notice that limit two. So you would need two of these. So. Um, you know, you'd probably want to pick up a second starter deck if you're that kind of person looking to fill that out. It does number these separately from the booster box cards. So it's got a different card pool, 25 of 26. We got the Scorch Flare from the box art. Pretty cool looking guy there. Got some copies of Cold Baby. Okay, limit four. Yep, totally, totally did not notice that until just now with the limit up in the top right corner on the other cards. So it does look like most cards, you can either have two, four, or three, probably depending on the rarity. Fernand. Yeah, so this seems like a really good way to get into playing the game, because I wouldn't even have to try and figure out how to build my own deck. I could just use this, which is nice, right, for new players like me. Um, if any of you pick this up, like starter decks or whatever, and you're a new player like me and you want to try and figure out how to play, like maybe you get the ice deck and I get the fire deck or something. Um... Yeah, I wouldn't mind learning or attempting to learn how to play. So a nice little deck there. Two hollows inside. Let's see what we get inside of this one. Assuming there might be another Victor Larson card in here. Let's see. We get everything. Okay. I jumbled it up a little bit. The hollows are going to be in the middle. Freezing Tundra. It's a nice realm card. Hailstorm. We got some signal sign card. Ooh. So we got Icebreaker Shield Special Move card. So we got the, the uh, what's his name? The Emperor. Oh, I forget his name. The card that we saw earlier from the booster packs, he gets his own special move card. Very nice. Okay, so the hollow in here is uh, not a Victor Larson card. So if you want that Victor Larson art, you got to get the fire deck. And then we get the Quentundra. This guy looks pretty awesome. Another Sterling artwork. Eskimo. Probo Snow. Staff Holds. Broski. Once again, more play on words. Okay, so those are some pretty fun decks. Cute little starter decks for D-Spirits. 
Um, that was a lot of fun. Once again, thank you to Sterling for hooking me up with these, uh, the booster box and the starter decks to open for you guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a comment if you're a D Spirits player or collector. If there's anything that I, uh, you know, missed and didn't say correctly or you need to correct me on, I'm, I'm all for it. We'll learn together. Um, but if you end up picking up anything, let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe you pick up a uh, booster box or starter deck. Maybe sometime we can uh, organize something to play together. So thank you guys. Thank you, Sterling. I'll see you guys in the next video.